Morning ladies and germs. Uh, my name is Sue Pyro. If you haven't seen my face before, uh, I'm going to be doing a lot more uh, visual cues like in the, in the beginning of the videos and stuff like that, but I'm not actually showing work done. So I'd like to start off with that. Uh, I want to thank you for watching. And today, our video is about repairing a CFL ball. So we're going to repair the ballast. Uh, it's a real common problem. Uh, I don't suggest you, you you do this at all unless you're really confident in your work and you have all the necessary necessarily skills and, uh, to perform this work. Uh, it is quite dangerous. You're dealing with very high frequency voltages and uh, it can be devastating to yourself, to your body and even to other individuals who happen to live in your home because a lot of bad things can go wrong okay CFL it's a Sylvania it's 23 watt 120 volts at 60 Hertz uh, and it's supposed to pull 360 milliamps uh, this is a 2700 degree Kelvin bulb uh, the model number is CF 23 EL mini and uh, this is this, and this is what happens when it turns on. I don't know if you can hear that. See it flickering? Okay. If you notice that 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 happens in the middle when you turn on your light switch, in or your bulb, and it's making that weird crackly sound, and it's not lighting properly, and then all of a sudden it goes fine and it goes quiet again and say get congratulations you've just made yourself fire at it so this is very dangerous at this time at this point in time it's very dangerous um, I'm going to show you some of the steps of what you can do to how, how to repair it uh, I don't suggest you do unless like I said unless you're completely confident in your work and your abilities uh, if you basically if you have any questions at the end of this video about how to do it you don't know enough, okay? So don't don't do that, okay? No, I'm being honest. I'm, I'm serious. Please don't, uh, because you, you don't want to start a fire and, and hurt other innocent people. You don't want to do that, okay? So first thing we're gonna do do here is there's a uh, there's an indication right here where these snap together using uh, just pressure and these plastic clips that we all know so well alright so you need a spudger uh, a very thin screwdriver will do the trick but eh, just remember that these have mercury in there it's a very very small amount of mercury however you don't want this breaking in your hand Okay. Don't, don't do that and glass is bad for your face and other uh, you know the things you the groin of the face you know those are, it's bad for that too let me get this apart and we'll, I'll show you what to do next right off the bat we can see we have a, a bulging capacitor here uh, so 105 degree rated. We're going to switch that out with a 125 degree C rated. Uh, other than that, what you want to do is you want to check these two MOSFETs on the other side. This is typically what you'll see is a transformer, some caps, uh, an inductor. There'll be diodes on the bottom. These are M7s. These are this is equivalent to a 4007 diode, a one in. 4007 so these are rated for 1000 volts you want to make sure that those are that these are properly working diodes these are equivalent to 1 in 4007 which is a 1000 volt uh, diode there's also what appears to be a 4148 there uh, you want to check all the resistances the resistances are pretty easy because they're labeled on the on the on the board itself well, not the board but on the component itself uh, let's see. You want to make sure that those are all reading properly. If you see a weird reading, just replace it. All right. 
but these two MOSFETs and if you don't check these components on the side and they're and they're they're not actually working properly after you replace these two MOSFETs they'll just snap all over again and you're right back where you left off but these MOSFETs are very prone to going bad and going short uh, uh, let's see if one is bad the other one will probably be bad as well because that's that's how it works by switching very fast uh, you want to check the inductor the capacitor here uh, this blue component there is a high voltage uh, uh, high voltage cap you're going to want to check that as well uh, check your coils your transformer you literally have to check every single part on here and verify it okay uh, you put the whole thing back together again and I'll show you something else so here's the other end of it you'll see that there are two conductors coming on either side of the uh, of the uh, the filament here and you can just simply take a pair of tweezers to uh, they're basically just literally wire wrapped around two posts on the board and I'll show you those as well those would be here and here they're not soldered they're just simply wire wrapped okay it's quicker for the manufacturer and uh, it's quicker for reassembly all right so yeah so I'm gonna test these I'm not gonna show you how to do that I'll put a link into to another individual who's already done that video and I probably couldn't do a better better one because it's already been done about five years ago and that's by Alan W2 AEW that's his ham radio call sign he's a good buddy of mine uh, very smart guy very clever and um, yeah we we so I'll, I'll send a link to his uh, his channel w2 aew all right and I'm gonna test these and then I'm gonna put it back together and I'll show you <laughs> I'll show you what we got all right after some uh, choice words and some percussive maintenance I finally got the uh, the uh, the enclosure back together here just gonna make sure that's snapped together really good. What I want to do now is I'm gonna, I'm gonna verify that my outlet is off. Do that. Just plug her in here. And uh, I'm gonna hit the switch over here. Alright. Here we go. There we go. Look at that, she works. It's not fading in and out like it was nice and bright so that's how you do it get the switch here We're all right so there it is that's how I replace mine this will probably be good for another another five years okay. all right so yeah so thanks again ladies and germs and we'll see you around Pretty bright. Pretty bright. Alright. Night ladies and germs. See ya.